Welcome back, pest collectors. I have John back with me today in the studio, and <laughs> he brought a whole bunch of uh, Easter items. Not all the Spencers. A lot of really cool like ad sheets and uh, some stuff in boxes and some plushes. Even you can't see those yet. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, some really cool rabbits that I recently have learned that they're not just all rabbits. But we're gonna get into that really soon and we'll show you that up close so you can see, you know, what to look for when you're buying some thumper or rabbit pez. So I'm excited. Yeah. <laughs> Are they rabbits or bunnies? I, I, I could say either. <laughs> What do you want to start with? You want to start with? Let's go with that. So this is an ad sheet from 1958. And the original person that bought this was slightly larger. It would be the same size as all these. But the area that he was going to put it on his wall, it didn't fit right. So uh -huh. he cut it down some. Plus he did not like that it he had a lot of border area that had no art. And he really likes the artwork. And I was still happy to get it from him because he had it professionally framed and that's got the uh, museum glass on the front which is UV protected. Ooh, yeah. Any of this artwork looks nice framed. Some things are better than the others. So I always tend to like things that have art like that rather than an actual picture of the items. I like the artwork better. Oh yeah. It's a matter of choice. They usually always want to have the dispensers there because if you are buying this for your store, you want to see what the dispenser looks like. <laughs> so a lot of times these ad sheets are two-sided. One side's got art and the other side has the actual dispensers. So do you think this has something on the other I side? Don't you don't remember? On that one. <laughs> I'm thinking back then, no, no, because it was so long ago. Just like back in the fifth, that's 1958. That's Later on, time. they always had these little numbers here, mm -hmm. like this says 242, then there's a 243, 246. These have to do with the year that they made that particular bunch. They kept redoing the artwork. And then also when there was a price change, you'd see that. And then so this next one that I'm showing, this is from 1971, it says, but it was really issued a couple years sooner. Mm -hmm. And in this one, you'll see the the chicken egg and of course the fatter bunnies, which we all like those. <laughs> but the chicken egg, the shell, I'll let you hold it. The shell on there, it's the blue thinner shell. Ooh. And it's the same kind of shell that you would see on chicken eggs that have no hat. And the no hat version came out in 1970, but they claim the hat version, at least in Sean's book, it says 1976. But we all know, obviously, from this that it was around early also. Oh. So by 70, 71, it was available also. And even though paperwork says, or the books say 1970 for the chicken egg, and it doesn't say, no ad just says chicken egg, I believe those were in the 60s also mm. that they were available. Because they had the little wire through the head. Oh, yeah. So I do have... The wire like you have on this. Oh yeah, there you go. I'm not showing the other side yet. <laughs> Put the sticker around to see right. what's on the other side. Oh, why I, I didn't, we didn't I do have this. the chicken egg right there. There you go, yes. I don't know okay. if you want to grab it or I can... There you go, that's the one, right? There's, that's the one that you're yes, talking about? Yeah, there's not many of those out there. Please. Greg got this from you. Oh, you know it. For me, now for... I don't have Is that for Christmas? <laughs> I don't know. I like these. I like, I one time we went over to your house, I think the first time, and I saw these in the room and I was like, I didn't even realize that the chickens, the chicken eggs didn't even come with the hats. Yeah. And I saw that and I was like, I gotta get those. And then Greg surprised me with that them. Very nice, yeah. <laughs> so I think this is really cool. So that's neat that it's actually in here, but this has the hat. Yes. Also back on your first, uh, yes, 1958 ad sheet. That dispenser, this is the dispenser that would be there mm. that you're seeing. And this lavender stem is desirable. I wonder why Pez didn't like paint or do anything with the head on these. I like, don't think they gave it much thought at the yeah. time. They really <laughs> didn't. And then, again, this cost them nothing to do. Mm. There was no copyright, so they could just do whatever they wanted. That's true. The and th those bunnies, especially the die cut ones, those were like some of the first Pez that Pez even made. Correct. So that 
that's old. Yeah, like, so this was 58, and then you're going to 1961. So this is the die cut right. bunny. And that's 1961, so of all these bunnies, that's the most valuable one. Yeah, so like, if you don't know what the die cut is, the stem actually has, it's, it's cut actually, out. Yes. It's, <laughs> Actually, with the die, it's actually cut through there. So if you pull up the sleeve, it's very slow. Fra <laughs> very fragile. It cracked. Well, I think that's just the. Yeah. Hopefully, spring. that's just the spring in yeah. there. But you can see like how I have it pulled up halfway. You can see through yeah. a little bit. A lot of those didn't survive because the die cuts very fragile mm. and breaks. And if you're a kid, it's in the <laughs> trash. So I like this one a lot. I like these a lot because I like this. Like lavender Beautiful stem. stem, yes. And these are pretty the, rare those too, Those stems, right? yes, even on a fat ear bunny, that's a desirable stem mm. to get on a fat ear bunny. You're going to pay a premium. Yeah. That. I think another one I saw at your house <laughs> were these lavender stems, and I was like, those are really pretty. Yeah, so, we have three of those. Yeah. Okay. So those are fun. And let's see what we want to talk. Oh, so fat ear bunnies, which... Originally, I used to think these started in the <laughs> 70s, but they actually were around in 1963. Oh, wow. So, and that was the lavender ones, the earlier oh, ones. Oh, yeah. And then you can find them, I'd bring it, but there's some that have a pin that goes mm. through them. They're more valuable. And then there's one that's a bubblegum head or hot pink. Yeah, and I don't you get that, that one. You want to make sure that the, the pink, this would match the sleeve. I should have brought that today too, but I didn't. It's like a hot pink one? Yes. Because I have all my fat ear bunnies. That's the oh, lavender. Yeah. Yes. Now this was a yellow head, not the pink, but the yellows are just an endless array of shades of yellow. Just like the pink, there's an endless shade of these pinks. Mm -hmm. And again, it's kind of personal preference what you're going to pay more for. These have IMCs of five, and then the yellow one has an IMC of two. Some people want every IMC of every <laughs> color possible of these. And again, you'll see there's people that have hundreds of fat ear bunnies. I'm one of them, but there's many people that yeah. have a lot of those. <laughs> I think the fat ear bunnies are so fun to collect because there are so many different color variations. And you can start, I mean, sometimes you find them for $10. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And there, anything without feet for $10 other than Santa, I think is a good deal. So. <laughs> yeah. That is true. You can find Santas all day yes. and pumpkins. <laughs> right. Well, pumpkins. Uh, they can be pricey, are, but yeah. 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 But uh, like the basic orange pumpkin. Yes. You can get them pretty pretty easily. Right. So let me go to the next ad sheet. So this is, and it actually says fast turnover for Easter, and <laughs> the assortment number. This one is 243, where well, that was 242, I believe. Mm, yeah. And in this assortment, there's the lamb along with the rooster, and they really don't say it's Easter, but it is, I mean, it says Easter here, but I never would have thought a rooster would be part uh, of Easter, yeah. but it, yet it is in this <laughs> in this group. This also lets people see that there was a, beside the white rooster we're used to, there is a green and a golden yellow <laughs> rooster. So a lot of times when we didn't know what was out there, this paperwork would show you, and you'd learn just from the paperwork. Mm -hmm. Also, And again, desirable because besides showing the picture of them you've got a character on here a cartoonish character so this would be nice for framing too and it says Pez International some people like all just international paperwork I don't prefer one over the other I like all of it also sometimes this gives you an idea now this version the next one I'm showing you it's the same number but yet the price back in this day it was probably 29 cents or or 25 cents this one it's up to 33 cents mm. and the fatter bunnies in here and lots of chicken eggs the fatter bunnies in this version mm. are a pink i've never really seen in real life i don't know if that happened in the photo or what mm -hmm. but it's it's slightly different also i meant to say this on the, this other sheet if you look at the the actual chicken eggs with hats the hats in there never were made. So if you look, what? this type of hat, see how that looks? Oh yeah, they are different. Ours are all what we all have. This version, and supposedly it was in 1971. I've yet to see anybody with that 
in a cellophane package. I'm not saying that someone can't pop that, make those, and all of a sudden they're gonna pop up now, but I'd have to see it in cello to believe it. Huh. That's really different. That's not even just like no, a little bit different. Pride. That's like a totally different yes. hat. Isn't that cool? I didn't know that. That's a really cool like part of his history there. I wonder why I, I they didn't make know. those. Yeah, I'm not sure. Huh. Also with the price increase to 33 cents, I thought this had more of the like 1968 um, psychedelic eye flower kind of artwork. You know, even though this is all the way back, you know, probably early 70s, still I just like the artwork on this mm. compared to... Yeah, it looks more like the like the psychedelic eyes and hands and like what right. was going on in the 60s. Yes, yes. <laughs> I like that. You had a Christmas one that looked a lot like this, like a, like a psychedelic yes. look to it. <laughs> Those chicks and eggs, their hats are right. Yes. So is this the bunny... Is that right, the bunny you're the talking color, about? Yeah. I have yet to find that that exact color. I'm not saying somebody else doesn't have it. It seems like the same way. Like I have that Halloween one hanging on my wall yeah. in my office. And there's that one I monster. It looks really purple. Right. And it seems almost like these have been like oversaturated like right, photographs right. or whatever. My friend Michael, I mean, he's gone now. But Mike Chadwick used to have mm -hmm. one close to that. I think Tina Gonzel had one mm. close to that. And Richie Bliskey, I believe, has a large collection oh, of feather bunnies <laughs> also, yes. Cool. And there's plenty of other people that have them. Those are just some that come right up the top of my head. Yeah, that's cool. Mm. This next one, Amanda will like this because it's got the... Oh, yeah. <laughs> ...up with flower. So even though this, this does say down here Easter, so now we've added the duck with flower as part of the Easter mm -hmm. assortment. Um, also, we've talked about this before, how the Pez company, they want the dealers to see what the dispensers look like. That's why those mm -hmm. don't have the cellophane on them, but yet the ones in the back do. It makes for, so you can oh, see yeah. what you're going to be buying. Also, this is kind of neat where they have a cover and this little piece of paper over there is very rare also. Um, it just was, and Pez likes to use these covers for many things. So I just slap that little piece of paper on there and now it's Easter so, <laughs> compared to a generic box. But that little thin piece of paper is very hard to find. Is it? Yes. That's really cool. And if you're uh, new here, John, he's the reason I started collecting these. Oh, okay. <laughs> so. I've seen these in like books and stuff, but I didn't know people actually collected them until yeah, okay. we uh, saw your collection recently. So well, that's a 243 sheet. Mm. This one is a 246. So remember we saw one that said 33 cents. Well, now we're up to 49 cents. And this is a bigger assortment. These other smaller, well, actually this particular box, if you look, it's very flimsy. This one is a mm. lot sturdier. So I think over the years, they've decided make that box a little more <laughs> to last better. And, and they've done that with this. You still got the same cover box. They're still using you know, that oh, yeah. to here. And then you can see real small here, the 49 cents. Oh, yeah. um, and again, what's neat with this, it's got actually two header, it looks like two separate header cards. I don't know if that's all one. I believe they're two separate on this one. That's a single. That's a very desirable header card, by the way. This one? Yeah. I guess that's supposed to be an FEB, and then the duck with flower, and then I could see like yes, these collectors the really wanting these. Artist version. <laughs> and so here's the same thing as that, and yet oh, the yeah. box, oh, yeah. if you look, this is a prettier box. Now the box is kind of, it's thicker and sturdier, but this is a, it looks like a bigger assortment than that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure the reasoning behind that. And they're, they're now letting you know on both these special Easter overwrapped box. So, <laughs> you know, for point of sales. Yeah, that's neat. I love looking at these because... The artwork. Yeah. Right? And though now here, this is another 246 sheet, but you can see it's basically the same header card from there to there. And, but yes, this is a single box, not a double box. Again, this is much more sturdy. Mm. These are harder to find also, the sturdy box. I don't have that box. 
So therefore, it's harder to find me. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see that one. Sure. Oh yeah, it is. A, it's a double header card. Is that what would right. you call that? It looks like they're both next to each other, so it's possibly two. Oh, just one. like yeah, next. Like yeah. Areas. It's very possible that these, that inside there is actually two of these. Mm. So if you look on the side here, you'll see where they probably just placed two of these boxes oh. directly into the sturdy box. Oh yeah, oh, it does look like that, yeah. 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 Because there's two price. Yep. Yeah, I think you're so. right. It's like what they do nowadays when you go to Walmart and they have like the giant cardboard box and then there's like three of them in there. Yes. So that's cool. This one has some interesting color combinations on the stems. Like the lamb, is that black or is it just really, really dark? It's hard to tell, but you're right. And that's something to always look at too, the art here, because usually it means that something like that was made yeah. somewhere along the And then like there's a rooster with the, I'm looking up there because my roosters are sitting up there, but there's a rooster with a red stem. I don't have that. Is that, you think that's a legit color combo? Well, it was here. Yeah. So. I'm interested in this lamb though, because yeah. I have a whole bunch of the lambs. <laughs> and, and this particular display, it looks like almost everything, if not all, are not in the cello. You know, oh yeah. All loose. Yeah. They did that on this one too, where this one, the back rows are cellophane. Mm. Also, I guess they always sold them in cello, right? They never really sold them loose, you never don't think? Loose, no. no. I don't know if they could sell them loose for hygienic, I don't uh, know, loose candy packs. Well, actually they did, question. at point of sale, you could buy a pack of candy for a nickel way back uh, in the days. Yeah. So, yeah. it's possible. Or like you need to get like penny, penny candies or whatever and they're just open. Right. These are super cool. Oh, so next thing I'm gonna, this doesn't look like anything to do with Easter. <laughs> and this candy I believe expired in probably 1993. You had to use it up by then. This display was, they actually started making these in 1989 mm -hmm. and kept doing it for a while. And this is European, so that's European candy, which tends to turn to goo mm -hmm. if you don't have something to take care of it. You won't know until you take that out and touch them, and they just, pfft, nothing. So if you buy these from someone, they're probably not going to let you open it. And I don't blame them because it kind of destroys it when you open it. Some people want this the way it is. They want this other sticker that's slapped on the back. They want one with the sticker, without the sticker. But why I'm showing this is because the Pez company and their infinite wisdom of how to use the same mm -hmm. packaging again, decided to just make a thin paper sheet to cover this up. And then voila, it is now Easter. So <laughs> with a simple piece of paper added to it, you've now turned it into Easter. Interesting. So this one's not Easter at all, right? No, no. no. And it has nothing to do with the dispensers. Yeah. They're not Easter related or, at all. Yeah. You're just getting it for that sheet. The sheet I wanted because on the back it has Peter Pez, so I had to get one of these. Oh, yeah. So I paid kind of a premium to get this. At one time, these were extremely rare. Now there's been quite a few of them. Mm. I, when I say a few, there's probably 20 of these around. Really? That so, rare? Well, I'm, I don't again, know if I've it's ever because seen of the it. paper. You're paying you yeah. know, that paper. And I also have one of these actual sheets that's never been used. There's probably about four people that have oh, that. Oh, wow. It's like a just flat? Just a flat unused That's cool. sheet, yeah. <laughs> and again, once they put these on, they tape them so they get tore mm -hmm. up easy. Um, some people have them when they're already, this part's all messed up, so. What's on the bottom of that to, without like turning it? This is just telling you basically the candy expired uh. in 1993. <laughs> and again, they don't put preservatives like we mm -hmm. do. So oh, I would never try to eat it. That's now cool. another box that they actually made just for Easter is this one. So this is a die cut box. It's actually got all Pez that are all Easter related. And what I like besides the artwork there is it's got the eggs and stuff in the back. Now I've seen other versions of this where these eggs here look like that and you could pop those out but I believe later they quit doing that because they wanted you to see the candy mm. all the time. So that was something they did earlier. And again, this is another one fairly hard to find. Again, expired candy in 1993. <laughs> I bet that candy's really gross. <laughs> but when all these came over, I believe Steve Glue is the one who mm. brought all these over. I think so, yeah. And I want to say he had 
I don't know, 50 cases, mm -hmm. and a case probably had 24 or more boxes of those. Yeah, I have some so, Christmas ones like this. I'm pretty sure I bought from him okay. at a convention because he used to like lug all the like he was big the, box the stuff. Guy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> these and are super cool. Like, uh, let's show, show these sure. up close. I don't know if I've ever seen like this one with the Easter stuff. But I've seen people with these. I don't have this in my collection, but I have. Uh, well, you I've will seen have, these. I can get you that one. So. Okay. <laughs> but this one. This one. That one. Super and then cool. the back of that I like better than. The front. Yeah. <laughs> just because it's, it's got the, little... the bunny there. He's holding a big egg. You know. Did they ever make any of these with the Peter Pez on the inside? Uh, probably. Yeah. Could have. Well, because they have. Uh, like, actually, why would they put Peter Pez on the back? I'm and then... thinking that this sheet came out possibly later than when they first did that uh, but i'm not sure of that that's cool and then like in my opinion on this this is like the coolest thing john has <laughs> I, I like those that i don't have two of i saw this at his house and he yeah. has it uh like hidden in like the little corner of the Up area high, yeah. i've never seen this like ever and i love the like how they have them cut out yes for the like little heads it's just so cool and then you can see the candy yeah and even for me, I probably would have never got that except for Marianne Kennedy told me about it oh. at one of the conventions. And somebody had a couple of them. She got one and told me, and I got one. Well, that's cool. So Maybe hers will come up for or, auction. Or it's already been sold, but yeah. Not to me, I just know some of the stuff. You know, they hers, sold some of it? Oh, okay. A lot of it. Because it's been you know, a couple of years. Yeah, and still yeah. Selling. So I say maybe it'll come up for auction because yeah. if it just does, John Lespina will have yeah. it on on the site. Yeah. So on the yeah. Facebook auction page, yeah. he's selling off a bunch of Lots stuff. Lots of her great and, stuff. And uh, yeah, it's been a lot of really good yeah. stuff. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I know we've bought some stuff, and everything comes like all minty yeah. and nice. Yes. I'll well, keep my eye out. We didn't talk about is the little bunnies here, the rabbits. So these are the least expensive of these, and I'm talking, you know. 20, maybe 25 bucks, I don't yeah. even know. Somewhere close to that. But then when you go up from that to the footless ones, you're gonna be paying more for the shade differences mm. of colors. So these two shades are eh, price wise. But then when you go to this kind, you're gonna pay a lot more for it or this. And when I say a lot, I mean a little bit more. When you go to really rare colors like green or blue then you're in the thousands of mm. dollars i don't have any of those those look and you nice. have some nice ones. oh yeah and we just got these on the live stream today yes so this is so the if you compare these two with that i'm thinking you're going to see different that one definitely is a different shade and then this one this is the one we were talking about at the beginning of the yes. a video here it looks exactly the same yeah, that's the Walt Disney one. So that's the thumper. Yeah. That's the real thumper. Where a lot of these other ones, we're not sure, but we think that you can look on some of these and there's area where it looks like it's been, when they took the mold, they did something to fill that in mm. so they could continue making these and they're not a copyrighted thumper anymore. And definitely these don't look like the cartoon <laughs> thumper anyway. So maybe they told them afterwards, we're not going to renew that Yeah, maybe that that's license. why. Yeah. I don't know. It didn't sell well because people were like, what's that right. weird bunny? <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah, so on the Thumper ones, it says, what's it say, Walt Disney Productions well, on it? I believe it does, yeah. And uh, I had out my magnifying glass okay, earlier so I could go. see it because it, it's really hard. <laughs> it's really hard to read it. And... Uh, and once, but once you see it, like yeah. you can't unsee it. And then when you when you know where to look for it, then you know it's there. Like, yes. but I didn't even know that that was a variation until John brought these over last time, and we didn't get to shoot the video. But right. he was telling me, and I was like, that's so cool. So I was, when we saw these two come up for sale, I don't know, I can't remember if Greg got these from somebody or on eBay, but um, they came up for sale, and I was like, Greg, you gotta get those because. After talking to John about these, I'm like, I need some of these. Yeah, I like them. <laughs> I think these are super cool. So I always had the just regular bunny, and I always called it Thumper with, yeah. the, with the feet. Mm -hmm. And I was like, that's my Thumper. And I didn't realize it was different. So there's probably a lot of people that don't, don't know, know either. That, yeah. yeah. Can I put that one there because it's making me nervous? <laughs> <laughs> well, and then also I have these. These are actually from Japan. 
and there's there's a different version of these that are bigger these are the harder to get smaller ones oh. and this is the chicken egg and then <laughs> look how funny it, it looks <laughs> and, and this is a bunny and i got these both of these years ago there's a couple other characters that are not easter related from john glia and linda glia uh. they were selling off their stuff uh. and he told me hey you got to get these so i did so i'm happy i did because they don't I just don't see them come up often. I don't know if I've ever seen I don't want to take them out of the either. package because I want to keep the little... Oh, yeah. It does have some Japanese writing there. Yeah. What's it? It says Heartland. Is that the yes. brand, maybe? It also has, like, a little zipper on it. it or what are these? Like little... 2008. Most of these, and this is probably one too, you unzip that, and they'll have, like, a little stuffed piece of candy. Oh, you know, yeah. Imagine. Like, are you supposed to put this like on your bag and then you can walk around okay. with it? I can see John doing that. that. Yeah. <laughs> I think these are super cool. Let me, let me take sure. a look at that one. Yeah. I always like the Pesh Plush stuff, but I don't ever know what to do with it. Yeah. But these are super fun. I, I don't know if I've ever seen these. Like, those don't come up that often either. And the heads are so little. <laughs> yes, they are. It's like not proportionate. So you think there's just two of these in that like series or right. have you seen and any other ones? There are other characters, but they're not Easter eggs. Oh, yeah. So I just brought the Easter Oh, so you ones. have some other ones? Yes. Oh, we'll have to check those out next time. Sure. <laughs> One of these sheets I needed to talk about um, because most of these are in mint condition, but yet, so this one, even I'm just letting out if you can tell from here, it's all wavy. So. When I bought it, I didn't know it was going to be wavy. Mm -hmm. and when it came, it was wavy. Now, somebody sent it to me nicely done with this, mm -hmm. same, but yet it was wavy. So I paid for one that wasn't wavy, but it is wavy. <laughs> so if Just someone, to watch out for. Yeah, so if someone were to buy something like this and it was wavy or had a crease, I can they get it fixed yeah. or? Oh yeah, you could have it yeah. iron you know, or flattened mm -hmm. or I forgot the term, it's in comics too, mm -hmm. but. I wouldn't spend the money on to do it with these. Um, also, most all of these are going to have three holes on the side oh, no. um, because they actually were in binders. Mm -hmm. So almost everything I have has got those holes. Some have three, some have five holes, but that doesn't stop me from buying them. Was that one cut though? Or is it so, just... So see how the holes... This one down here looks like it's off the side. Unless it it's is. Just it's, off, it was a bad job. Uh, yeah. From taking it out of the... Yeah. Thing. But here you can tell more of the waviness. Yeah, it that. is wavy. Either got around moisture or something to... It seems like it got wet. Or it got wet, yes. Still happy to have it, but I would like it not to be Yeah. Wet. You never know, some salesperson could have been using that yeah. for like in their in their binder for a while while they're trying to sell stuff that could have been right. like a lot of these always look so minty you're like were these actually used but that one might have been one that true someone yeah. actually used a store and, might have bought some pens based on and that definitely one. back in the day they didn't have these kind of protectors oh yeah or anything. they didn't care about it and also you see any of these ad sheets sometimes will have two creases because they were mm. folded up and in an envelope they mailed it to where the prospective buyers mm. were for the different chains and yeah. then they look at and call them up say bring a sample or whatever and they would yeah and they buy you've it. had those pressed though some of them haven't yet like i've had them taken care made. of when they weren't done by the comic places mm. but somebody did it for me i don't know how to do that yeah so. it's always interesting though because like if you do get something an old piece of paper that you can kind yeah. of people you know make are, it a lot nicer than people it is. are good at restoring paper stuff it's um, Michael G, Michael Bazano, David Welch, okay. definitely. There's probably many others, but those are the ones that come off the top of my head that I know can do wonders. That have done it, yeah. Yes. That's really cool. Especially because, I mean, these pieces of paper are old. I mean, yes. <laughs> and a lot of them look like, you know, they just were printed last week, but sometimes you might find them that, are, that need a little bit more help. Right. <laughs> Anything else you want to share with um, us about all these goodies? I think that's it for what I can see from we got here today. Yeah. Well, I know Other I learned a lot. how desirable this is, the, that kind of stem. Yeah. I just really like that. Yeah. 
It's a nice one. Well, I know I learned a lot from John bringing all this over because I don't have like hardly any of this stuff. Not much at all, like one thing. <laughs> well, your 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 collection is <laughs> growing by leaps and bounds yeah, every week. Yeah, but uh, just uh, just to find some of these like paper items and stuff, I like looking at this. I think maybe it's the graphic designer in me. I appreciate you know all the thought that goes into these packaging and into these like sales sheets to get the people to sell. You know the. Uh, the Pez at the store. So I think that's really right. cool. It's a really good amount of like Pez history that not probably a lot of people have probably even seen. True. I've been collecting Pez for so long and I haven't seen yeah. a lot of this stuff. So there's just so much. There is. <laughs> so if you're, if you're John, you're like, I've seen it all. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I'm seeing new stuff every year, it seems like. Yeah. Even new old stock of Oh things, yeah. Man. So much fun. Well, I really appreciate you bringing this stuff over. and uh, My pleasure. It's been a lot of fun. Have, yeah. <laughs> I always have a great time. Yeah. So. And uh, hopefully everybody enjoys this as well. Of course, Marion's over there uh, yeah, there's watching Marian. us. <laughs> Say hi, Marion. No, she's not going to talk. Someday no. we'll get her in a video. <laughs> yeah. Not going to happen. Maybe what? Maybe Tweeties. Ah. Tweeties? Tweeties. We could have a whole... They had a bunch of Tweeties today on their live that. stream. I did say that. <laughs> yeah. We'll have to... Uh, have a video showing all Marion's Tweety Birds. She yeah. likes Tweeties a lot. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you're not subscribed and you made it this far into the video, hit that subscribe button. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. If you like seeing John here, you know, make sure you comment on this video because that way we'll both see, you know, like what you thought about the video. If you want John to come back, let me know. <laughs> and if you want to get Aaron a cup of coffee, oh, you yeah. have something for yeah. that. Yeah. You can buy me a cup of coffee but i call it buy me a pest dispenser because <laughs> that's more fun i mean that's what we do i do like coffee i would like the pez but marion would rather have coffee yeah <laughs> <laughs> i have the link down below in the description if you want to check that out it really helps support the channel i appreciate it and uh i guess as always thanks for watching and i'll see you thursday do you want to do the oh sure you're here <laughs> all right bye bye, bye. <laughs> there you go hit it oh. there you go <laughs> <laughs> I write to you in poetry with words left on the shelf Full of dust, you'll know it's me and from nowhere